Karen Reed's legal team is appealing a ruling in her case to the state's highest court. On Wednesday, her legal team appealed to overturn the judge's ruling last month, which denied Reed's motion to dismiss two of the charges brought against her. The petition argues that she is entitled to view her motion to dismiss before she's retried. Her retrial is scheduled for January 27th of next year. A hearing was held in Washington today regarding the collapse of the Stewart Healthcare Hospital System. Members of a Senate committee looking into Stewart's bankruptcy said they plan to adopt two resolutions next week to hold CEO Ralph De La Torre in contempt. They come after he refused to testify at today's hearing. The first resolution instructs the Senate Legal Counsel to bring a civil suit requiring De La Torre to testify. The second would refer the matter to the U.S. Attorney for the District of Columbia to criminally prosecute De La Torre for failing to comply with the subpoena. Disgraced ex-movie notable Harvey Weinstein has been indicted on additional sex crime charges in New York. The new charges come ahead of a retrial of his 2020 rape conviction. That conviction was thrown out by an appeals court earlier this year. The new indictment will remain under seal until Weinstein's arraignment, which is scheduled for September 18th. It remains to be seen whether the new charges will be included in the retrial or handled as a separate case by the court. 400 Boston hotel workers went on strike this morning following an initial wave of three day strikes that started around Labor Day. The striking workers are raising concerns over the blend of high hotel profits, poor working conditions, low wages and stalled contract talks. The union said that more strikes are possible at any time. The local Labor Day strikes involve 900 employees nationally. More than 10,000 workers have recently gone on strike. Back now with 22 News from Team Meteorologist Brian Lapis. The week just keeps getting better. A little more like a summer feel out there. Yeah, you know, we're cruising toward the opening of the Big E. The Taste of Northampton is this weekend. Springfield Puerto Rican Parade. And the weather is looking really nice for all of these events. Cool. And, you know, last week we had a beautiful sunny week and then we had some rain over the weekend. Right now, it looks like both Saturday and Sunday are going to be great weather wise. So uh, I digress. I don't want to put the cart in front of the horse here. Let's talk about what's happening right now. Five o'clock here this afternoon, mostly clear air. Just a couple of scattered clouds here this evening with temperatures in the 70s and 60s. We'll be in the 50s overnight with a round of clouds here. Notice uh, six o'clock tomorrow morning, some clouds. Also another round of patchy fog. There'll be a light breeze out of the south uh, overnight tonight, and that's uh, a great uh, tool, a great ingredient for some areas of fog, especially near rivers and lakes. So be ready for that. The fog lifts out. We get into some sunshine here by mid morning, noontime sunshine. Then in the afternoon tomorrow, some clouds develop and yeah, there might even be a scattered sprinkle here uh, tomorrow afternoon. A high temperatures in the low 80s. We'll talk about the weekend's weather on 22 News at 5. All right, trending right now, the Video Music Awards were held in New York last night. Taylor Swift took home the biggest award of the night, Video of the Year, for Fortnite with Post Malone. This is her third year in a row winning this award. During her acceptance speech, she also took a moment to thank her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, for cheering her on during the making of that music video. Katy Perry received MTV's Video uh, Vanguard Award and performed a mashup of her biggest hits. The FDA has authorized the first over the counter hearing aid software device intended to be used with compatible versions of Apple's AirPod Pro headphones. It is set up using an iPhone or iPad and the user's hearing levels are accessed from the health kit to customize the device. The HAF was Evaluated in a clinical study with 118 subjects who had perceived mild to moderate hearing loss. The results demonstrated that subjects who used the feature achieved similar benefits as subjects who received professional fitting of the same device. Coming up tonight on 22 News starting at 5 o'clock, safety concerns at a West Springfield Railroad crossing have become a hot topic among rail workers. See how a local union wants to improve workplace safety. Plus, the Big E starts tomorrow. We'll have everything you need to know ahead of the nearly three week festival, and we'll have a look at how successful the Clear the Shelters campaign was for Dakin Humane Society. Brian. 
Slow down right now, downtown Springfield, I-91, uh, just north of downtown Springfield. Otherwise, traffic is moving uh, freely and uh, moving along just fine. Details on a what looks to be a bright and dry weekend on 22 News at 5. Love that. Brian, thank you, and thank you for joining us for 22 News at 4 o'clock. Latest news and weather anytime on our website. And hey, Brian, you can always download the free 22 News app. Oh, yeah.